And welcome inside the Backstage Pass. Of course, hump day, Wednesday, almost to the weekend there, too. Like I said, just a few more days to go on the job out there, too. I guess if it's a job you enjoy going to, like I do this, you never work a day in your life out there, too. Thanks to our friends at KKTC True Country 99.9 in Taos, New Mexico, and up into Colorado. And, of course, out there, hightidecountry.net in Oklahoma. We're streamed and powered by the Sports Guys of podcast.com, presented by our friends over at Bangtail Whiskey and the Caden Gordon Show.com, today's best country mix, and our friend Jewelry by Tommy. We'll talk more about that uh, throughout the show. Pleased to welcome in my featured artist of the day. We're going to do a couple of shows today, have a good time with it too, as well. There's a lot of talent out there too, and she's one of the MC1 Nashville's brightest out there too. McKenna Faith Winters to the program. McKenna, how you doing? Good. How are you? Been a busy day. Like the phone just keeps ringing. That's a good problem, right? Yeah. Approaching <laughs> Country Radio Seminar, which is going to be a busy week. You'll be there. I'll be there. And a host of others will be in yes. town there in, in uh, Music City, no doubt about it, too. Well, let's talk about, uh, let's kind of start off, get to know you a little bit more on, on the show here, too, because I know who you are. Some listeners may not and may be seeing uh, yourself as an artist for the first time. I know you're very young. Congratulations on all the early success. Uh, so far, these these songs are really, really good out there. Talk about just growing up, household, connection to music, and kind of when uh, you're like, you know, I want to do this for, for a career. When did that connection to music kind of happen? What age? Um, I honestly could not tell you. I When I was younger, I sang in the car all the time. And then COVID hit. We started posting videos, and my family was supporting me. And then I started getting a bunch of people that saw me, and they're like, she's really good and everybody's following me and getting to know me and it's just been a great experience which is good there too talk about growing up you know with that early 2000s uh, era in there too i mean for me it was the 90s country that paved the way for young artists like yourself today too but who was it i mean what made you tick what artists really kind of drove you into this who were you listening to growing up um i was always listening to avery anna she is a young artist. She might be 19 now. I think she's 18 or 19. Mm -hmm. um, she sings a song with Dylan Marlowe on the radio. Um, okay. But she's been a big inspiration to me. She is the nicest person. She's always there for her fans. And she's just a great example. Mm -hmm. When you look at uh, the music you've put out so far, how would you say from, you know, it's always an evolution from, uh, you putting out the first track there, first single, and then you evolve to uh, the one you have to now, which is a great song out there too, called One Girl to Another. Talk about this and, and how the songs, first of all, I know it's hard to choose the right song, but for you, what kind of shapes you as an artist? What type of artist do you want to be? And how authentic do you want your music to be? Um, My music is yeah, mostly country pop. Um, mm -hmm. My first song, it was very country and then it's kind of evolved to a little bit more pop but it's all in there um i think one thing i've gotten way more comfortable in the studio and that's another reason why my songs might have changed and might have sound differently um i've also my voice has matured a little bit more since the first time i released it um i my songs are i i love the way they're going Let's talk about that first one that I, I got to listen to, or at least the first one I, I heard, which was uh, I'm doing country tonight. That's so, <laughs> talking about that one too. Uh, talk a little back, a little backstory and uh, writing of that one too at the same time and kind of where that, that idea came from. Yeah. So last April we went to a music camp. Um, I think it's called full circle. Um, and there were a lot of writers, a lot of musicians, singers, everybody there. Um, and the songwriters, they found me and they were like, hey, we wrote this song. We saw you on their website and um, I want you to listen to it and hopefully sing it because I was not a songwriter then. I still I'm getting there. But um, I at that point, I needed somebody to write the songs for me because I was still very young. So 14 then. Mm -hmm. um, and they're like, can you please listen to this? And we're like, yeah, of course. And it was it was really good. Like we loved the vibe of it, and this would be a great first song to try for me. So, and as far as songwriting, how's that going? Because a lot of people love to, uh, you know, kind of pin their own stuff out there too. When it comes to writing their own material, uh, finding out, <clears throat> like I said, what type of artist they want to be, and uh, kind of think of songwriting as therapy. How much have you grown as an artist when it comes to songwriting? And do you do you enjoy that process, or would you rather the the, the co-writing side? What what kind of uh, what what fits your bill there? 
Um, I'm still more on the co-writing side. Mm -hmm. I've started mm -hmm. writing. I did write a few songs um, in December um, with people from my record company. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm hoping to record one of them um, this March, I think. So I'm excited for that. When you look at uh, <clears throat> the label's got some really awesome artists out there, MC1, Nashville, which you're on. Talk about that. The support team, uh, everybody there, and just a, a great roster. And it's hard to do anything in this business, especially the music industry, without a good team behind you. Talk about that team and what it's been like on, on MC1 Nashville. Um, they are so supportive. They are the nicest people you could ever meet. Um, they are very lenient and let you – work with anybody that you want and that's just kind of person and people that you want in this business so that you they help you grow and help you do what you want to do yeah and i think that's real key no doubt about it because some artists can can do it out there no doubt on the independent circuit and some you know definitely want to go the, the label route which is good there talk about some of the the challenges that you face as a female artist you know we're seeing this movement now of you know laney wilson and ashley mcbride carly pierce and uh, Lindsay l all these great just guitar players, great artists out there who really, you know, paid those dues. And they call Nashville kind of a 10 year town, if not, you know, adding on a couple of years here and there, but uh, that the challenges you might face that maybe fans don't see in the music industry. Talk about some of those as you face as a female artist. And I guess kind of a two part question. What's it been like to see this female movement now with uh, these artists kind of doing their thing out there? Um, One thing with female artists is I get a lot of random messages from people that, yeah, like um, inappropriate messages that they, they don't know I'm 15 years old. Like females need their respect and mm -hmm. everybody needs to respect. And I've had to turn off my messages because it's gotten so bad. So that's a big struggle that I've had. And give me some thoughts on the movement now with you you're seeing some of these ladies that you look up to that are powerhouses in, in country music. Lainey Wilson and Lindsay L., Ashley McBride, Carly Pierce. Uh, this movement now that we're seeing, I really feel like we haven't seen something like this since – the 90s country movement, Sarah Evans and Terry Clark and some of the ones who, you know, Reba McIntyre, Shania Twain. What's your thoughts on this female movement now? I, it's a great thing for the industry. I think so. Yeah. No, I love all of them. I listen to them all the time. They are great influencers, and I hope to be just like one of them someday. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's good to have those goals. No doubt about it, too, as well. we got to take a, a quick time out here on the show. Again, the CadenGordonShow.com, today's best country mix, one of our sponsors. And, of course, uh, Bangtail Whiskey. And, of course, friends out there, too, always tell the guys out there, too, it's getting close to Valentine's Day, and uh, you want to get that lady something nice. You do not want to end up in the doghouse, too, as well, which is great out there. So to do that, it's around the corner, February 14th, the week before we get to CRS, which is Country Radio Seminar. If you're looking for that perfect gift for your spouse, friend, or family member, it's Jewelry by Tommy. It's got you covered. You can email burleysystem at yahoo.com today to order a quick word from our friends out there, too, our sponsors. Pay some bills. More with McKenna Faith Winners on KKTC True Country. 99.9 and of course out there too hightidecountry.net coming right back the Caden Gordon show today's best country mix is a two hour show playing independent and mainstream country music you know and love be sure to check it out at thecadengordonshow.com for more information on the show the bangtail pour is comprised of a sweet corn mash base the front has a subtle sweetness and not too sharp it has notes of a medium char or white oak for a smoky flavor in the middle, and the tail has a super smooth and warm finish. Go behind the scenes with some of the biggest artists in music today with the Backstage Pass, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. Join Brandon Morrill and his co-host Kirsty Krause as they talk to rising stars and legends about their music careers. Listen to their latest tracks and learn fun facts about the men and women behind the music you love. And be sure to tune in to the Backstage Pass Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. And welcome in to the Backstage Pass. And back here on the show, McKenna Faith Winters joining us here on the Backstage Pass Hump Day Wednesday and a countdown to Country Radio Seminar. We'll be there for the entire week there, Tuesday through uh, Saturday, the Omni Hotels, where it takes place the 28th of February all the way to March 1st. We're going to be live at the Wild Beaver Saloon on that Friday night, March the 1st. Come hang out with us, too. A host of musicians coming out there from 6 to 10. Looking forward to that for a big-time party, big-time live remote. Bangtail Whiskey will be there and a whole lot more, too, as well. So we'll be having a great time. Big country music party right there on Friday, March 1st. And appreciate the Wild Beaver Saloon hosting us out there, too, and uh, just enjoy 
a great week in Nashville, Tennessee there for Country Radio Seminar. Back here, KKTC True Country 99.9, and of course, HighTideCountry.net, McKenna Faith Winners, the current single, One Girl to Another, across all those uh, digital platforms. Let's talk about this single because it just came out in December, right there before uh, Christmas or right around Christmas right there. Uh, talk about the spark. This is giving you a little backstory of this song. Um, this song just came out in January. Um, oh, January. Okay. Yes. Um, and it was given to me by one of my co-writers who has wrote all six, well, five right now, but um, the next one he has also written, written that is coming out. And um, his name is Cedric Israel. He has been a um, big help to our family, helping me find all these songs. And um, I actually recorded this in Nashville at his house in his oh, basement. Really? Yes. So okay. that was that was an experience. Um, he's the most cool guy and that you could ever meet, and he's mm-hmm. he's great. Well, let's talk about the other side of it too. You mentioned the recording. We talked about the songwriting. I want to know about the performing. Is that something you just love getting up on stage? Do you play the guitar, the instruments, things like that, performing in front of a live crowd? What's that been like for you? Actually, that has been the opposite. I started recording songs and releasing songs and i haven't even sung on stage that much really um, okay I, I think i've only done it oh, maybe three times okay i did just have a release party for one girl to another um it was two sundays ago okay. um and that was the first time i really had a set list um it was mm-hmm. my songs and then i played one or two cover songs i do not play an instrument actually i'm doing okay. everything backwards which is it's crazy <laughs> it's all good as long as you do it and attempt to do it i've trust me i've done it. this this radio show i've done things backwards too until i figure it out when i figure it out i just move forward to the next step uh let's talk about heartstrings attached and, and that uh, single that came out too i love this song and i'm sure the fans want to hear the story of a little backstory of this one I don't know if there's a big backstory about this song. This song was also pitched to me by Cedric. Um, and with all of these songs that have come out, um, I don't, I sang this one here in Rockford. Well, mm-hmm. I live in Chesney Park, but Rockford's not too far from here. Um, and it has been in number one, it has been number one in several countries. Really? Okay. All right. so, I like that too. I also got a chance to listen to Monuments, which was a 2023 uh, release from you guys too. Is there a good story for Monuments? Um, not really. I don't think. Um, the funny thing is, is that actually it talks about driving, and I'm still 15, and I cannot drive. <laughs> That's one thing that about that song. It's hard you- as a young artist to find mm-hmm. songs that's not like you have to find one for. For your age when that you have to sing so well we'll talk about that too because now on the label mc1 and looking now for uh some challenges is that the next step give me some goals for 2024 and some things that you want to take this single and kind of branch out a little bit more and are we looking at maybe more live performances you get on stage for this year yes yes i think i'm going i definitely am playing like you said i'm playing in crs week on the okay. 29th at the dog house and then um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. trying to think um on march 2nd i am playing at the underground nashville underground so okay. that's another chance for me to get more live perform- performances in and i've also had a lot of help around the area who um said they would love to help me get on stage and there's a bunch of karaoke nights that i've been wanting to go to so mm-hmm. it's gonna be fun well, the karaoke nights are always fun, too. That's what yes. <laughs> that's got us out doing some fun there, too. Wild Beaver is, is known for their karaoke nights there, too, on, on Commerce Street in, in Nashville, too. You know, we talked about uh, just so many great things are happening with these female artists now. Uh, were you a Taylor Swift fan growing up? I had to ask you that question. <laughs> um, Growing up, I do. I love her old music. Okay. I have not really listened to her new music. I'm not a big Swiftie. I love her. Um, <laughs> But... I am a Taylor Swift fan, but I don't think you can call me a Swifty because I don't know right. everything. Okay, well, I'm not a Swifty, just so you know. I just have to admit that here on the show. But at the same time, I appreciate what she's done for the music industry. Super talented, and she's been in the news with Mr. Uh, Travis Kelsey, the tight end for the Kansas City uh, Chiefs out there, too, at the same time. Speaking of Kelsey, there was a song by that title that came out that you got to sing for that one. So I had yes. to segue that and transition there. Talk about this one here and uh, just how much fun this was to sing. 
So this song does have a big backstory to it, actually. Okay. Um, All right. So when we were down in Nashville recording um, Backbiting, which is not out yet, and One Girl to Another, um, we were planning on recording Backbiting the first day and then give me a little break, and then the next day seeing One Girl to Another. Well, um, Cedric was like, you want to hear the song we just wrote? And we were like, yeah, sure. And um, we were listening to it. And it's just, it's so catchy and we loved it. And we're like, we can't pass this up. So, um, plus Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were really big on the internet, like mm -hmm. then too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, well, we have to do this. And we're like, we're already here. Mm -hmm. So, we ended up recording One Girl to Another and Backbiting in the same day. Um, and then the next day, we recorded Kelsey. I think I listened to that song maybe a hundred times. <laughs> it was in my head, I knew it. That's a good, it's a good song to stay in your head. Trust me, I had a yes. bunch of mirror on the show that uh, a lot of music passes across my desk, and there's some some tunes that you do play about fifty or one hundred times before <laughs> you can't get the song out of your head too. That's just what good music is is right. prone to do. That's that's a part of it too as well. We'll take Kelsey, a uh, go ahead. Kelsey, say it again. Kelsey will be my second release with my record label too. Okay, so. looking forward to that too as well. Definitely, we're gonna come back and have a little more time with McKenna Faith Winters here on the Backstage Pass. And of course, talk a little rapid fire. We'll have a little fun with a series of funny questions. America's fastest growing game show. It's really not, but we call it that here on the show here presented by Banktail Whiskey and our friends at the Kate and Gordon Show. Dot com today's best country mix more with mckenna faith winters too as well but of course i say fellows too as well you don't want to sleep in the doghouse too no pun intended for the bar in downtown nashville valentine's day around the corner if you're looking for the perfect gift for your spouse friend family member jewelry by tommy handcrafted it's got you covered you can email right there burley system at yahoo.com today to order and get that into as well get it shipped to you very awesome and affordable prices right there jewelry by tommy email burley system at yahoo.com. Quick time out here. More with McKenna Faith Winters. And of course, another great show coming up today. Two more tomorrow and one on Friday before another great set of shows. We're just counting them down to a country radio seminar. It's KKTC True Country 99.9. .9. And a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned for a lot more. The Kane and Gordon Show is a two hour show playing the best in country music. So check it out at thecadengordonshow.com. Again, that is thecadengordonshow.com. The bangtail pour is comprised of a sweet corn mash base. The front has a subtle sweetness and not too sharp. It has notes of a medium char or white oak for a smoky flavor in the middle. And the tail has a super smooth and warm finish. Go behind the scenes with some of the biggest artists in music today with the Backstage Pass, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. Join Brandon Morrill and his co-host Kirsty Krause as they talk to rising stars and legends about their music careers. Listen to their latest tracks and learn fun facts about the men and women behind the music you love. And be sure to tune in to the Backstage Pass Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30, powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. And welcome in to the Backstage Pass... And back here, final segment with McKenna Faith Winners joining us here, MC1 Nashville, her label out there too. And get that current single, uh, One Girl to Another, across all those uh, digital platforms before more music comes out here over the next few weeks too as we count down to Country Radio Seminar uh, 2024 out there too, February 28th to March the 1st at the Omni Hotel and surrounding areas. Uh, be sure to make plans to join us at the Wild Beaver Saloon coming out there with a host of artists uh, coming up there March the 1st from 6 to 10 p.m. Uh, presented by Bang Till Whiskey and the Caden Gordon Show.com. Come out, play some music, have fun, have some drinks, and support your bartenders at the Wild Beaver Saloon March 1st with us at the Backstage Pass from 6 to 10 uh, p.m. So I got to have a little fun with you here and do a little rapid fire. It's just a series of funny questions that I get to ask. And when I do that, there's no right or wrong answers. So let me ask you this. Some of your favorite hobbies to do outside when you're not doing music, what are those? Um, softball, mostly. Um, mm -hmm. I do. I like doing art a lot, too. I do okay. art. Um, those are my main hobbies, I think. That's what I do a lot. Okay. Art as far as drawing, as far as making? Yeah. I draw a lot, so yeah. Okay. All right. What's your uh, favorite things to draw? What do you like to draw? Um, mostly horses. <laughs> okay. I'd say I can only draw stick figures for me. So I commend you. You're a lot better artist than I am too, when it comes down to it. Uh, favorite TV shows to binge watch. What do you get into? Um, I love Heartland. That's also another horse show. Um, <laughs> I like Outer Banks. Um, mm -hmm. 
I'm thinking my parents and I are watching The Office right now. Always a good show. Always yes. a good show. Uh, let's do this one. When it comes to food, and I guess it could be in Nashville or in your hometown as of now, what's uh, some of your favorite foods you get into? Um, I love steak and cheeseburgers. Okay. All right. That well, is my favorite, I think. <laughs> um, I love this favorite flavor of ice cream. Um, chocolate or mint chip. See, you're right there with me. Mint chips become the thing now. Yeah. It's become my favorite. And I got to have it on the waffle cone. I cannot just get it in a cup anymore. Yes. So for me, it's the waffle cone. And I'm still trying to find a good <laughs> ice cream place in Nashville when we get there, too. Because after you eat all the good food, you're like, man, I got to have something to uh, to get the sweet tooth uh, kind of fixed out there, too. All right. Let me ask you this. If uh, I know it's still young and, of course, high school and that kind of stuff. Was it always music for you? And if it wasn't music, was there a plan B option or was it just like music full steam ahead? Um, when I was little, I always want to work with animals. Okay. Um, but if my plan B, it would be, um, if it wasn't music, it would be, um, interior design. Oh, all right. I could see that too. I got to come right up in interior design. I need some walls and some wallpaper and, uh, <laughs> So let's see furniture. What else could she get fix up my house to interior design? I could get some good recommendations to, to share with the wife too. That what's <laughs> so we need to change this and this and make sure we do all that stuff out there too. So we do that. Hey, interior design. There's good contract work uh, out there uh, for that one too. All right, have a little fun with this. Back to the food category: toppings on pizza for McKenna Faith. What goes on on McKenna Faith pizza? Um, I'm not too crazy. I usually pepperoni. Okay. Um. People talk about pineapple on pizza. I don't mind it. I know a lot of people don't like it, but. <laughs> Let's talk about a dream stage to step on. A lot of people say Steamboat or the Opry or Red Rocks or something like that. Uh, dream stage to perform on one day. What's your, what's your goals? I was going to, I would say Opry too. <laughs> okay. Opry. All right. A lot of people say, and a lot of people say it's Opry, Ryman, Red Rocks, Steamboat. That's kind of a few of the answers uh, that I get out there. Well, I'll tell you what, I love this music. I think it's fantastic. You're one of the bright artists I'm keeping my eye on. Look forward to seeing you in the Music City for uh, the Big Country Radio Seminar for that week. It's going to be big for everybody over there. Maybe I'll see you out there at that doghouse too as well. I <laughs> still wait for the call to come in because it could happen out there. I might catch your performance if I'm doing some uh, some of this stuff here, broadcasting we call it too as well. Uh, one girl to another across all the digital platforms. And of course out there, you're a fantastic artist. we got our eye on you. Uh, best of luck with the record deal going forward. Happy New Year and looking forward to seeing you in Nashville. Thanks for being with us and hope to do this again, no doubt. No, thank you for having me. You got it. McKenna Faith winners on the backstage pass. We're coming up here with another show. Stay tuned for that about uh, five o'clock central time. And of course, a couple tomorrow and a single show on Friday. Round out the week as we count down to country radio seminar presented by Bang Till Whiskey, our friends at Jewelry by Tommy. And of course, the Caden Gordon Show.com, today's best country mix for our friends at KKTC True Country 99.9 out there too and high tide country.net and powered by the sports guys podcast.com. We'll see you soon from all of us here. Have a great night. See you soon.